for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Some fast facts to start the week. The word on the street is that Icelandic haddock landings fell short of last year by almost 30%. As a result, many Icelandic companies bought up finished product, meaning that less will be likely available for North America. In news this week, the Pacific cod season in Alaska has started and initial prices to boats are at the same level as they were at the end of last year's B season. The 2012 A season quota is up 11%, mostly thanks to a 15% boost in the Bering Sea. But the increased supply may not push down prices as one may expect. In fact, we are hearing from packers in China that prices may actually increase. This is because packers shorted themselves on raw material in 2011 because they feared high prices and a dismal economy would reduce consumer demand. As it turns out, demand may be higher than had been initially predicted. The determining factor here will be supply that comes out of Russia. The quota there has been left on par with 2011. We recently reported that Atlantic cod prices were dropping and nearing parity with Pacific cod. Well, since that last report, prices have been holding steady with approximately a 40% gap over PCOD prices. It may be that the market was simply correcting itself for high prices earlier in the year. Next up, Oregon Dungeness crab prices are the highest on record, but fishermen have nothing to smile about. The industry agreed on a price of $2.30 per pound, up from $1.67 last year. But early season landings were dismal, and because of the huge demand in Asia, there's been even further upward pressure on prices. We've heard that some buyers are paying as much as $2.80 a pound. Just a reminder, we're heading into the Chinese New Year, and already we aren't receiving much price information from Chinese packers. And moving forward, inventories are strained for this period. Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Ryan McKay. Buy smart and eat more seafood.